In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through over the next 10 minutes or less exactly how I created this BMW M6 GT3 livery. I not only created the design in Adobe Illustrator, but I'm going to show you how I took that design file and prepped it for print. This is getting installed on an actual M6 GT3 race car as we speak as a printed wrap. And I wanna show you guys a little bit of that process as well, but then I'm also going to take it a step further and show you how I took the decals that I created in Adobe Illustrator and imported them into your favorite driving simulator, Gran Turismo 7. So it's gonna be an action packed next couple of minutes, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content like this in the future. But let's go on ahead and jump right in. So step one, you have to find a template and that is this blank white kind of graphic that you see on the left here. Um, but what you're looking at now is uh, how I designed the rear decals. And I basically used a very high quality image uh, of the rear of this car that I found online. And I'm going through and tracing them. But something to keep in mind is that tracing these exactly is never going to work. And the reason why it's not going to work is because this is a two dimensional picture that is flat, but in uh, reality, this is a 3D object. And so those decals actually stretch down the side of the bumper a bit. And so that's why you see me flare them out a little bit. After I got one side done, I just copied it and then did a vertical reflection to the other side and then boom, now I'm moving on to the front. And so that we can better capture the three-dimensional aspect of the decal, I actually used an image that was off center a little bit here. I didn't trace this one, I basically, you know, redrew it myself. And I found that that was, that worked a little bit better based off of how the body lines were. Um, and, you know, just the three dimensional view of this, you could never really, you know, trace it and have it come out perfectly. So I thought it would just make better sense to go on ahead and draw it from scratch. Next, we're moving on to the hood. And as you can see, we're actually missing a couple of body lines. So I'm adding those back in. And guys, these templates are not perfect. So you just have to make do with what you have. Um, you know, make them work for you the best that you can. You'll find that the more that you use them. Um, but we're working on the hood design now. And one thing you have to keep in mind is we're creating a design file. And the purpose of the design file is to create basically a graphic graphical representation of what you are going to send to the printer that will inevitably end up getting installed on the car. And so this file is going to be given to the client and it's for the client to review and sign off on. So it's not exactly going to be a print ready file, but you need to get it as close to what it's going to look like when it's installed as possible. So next we're moving on to the side here and you can see that I'm creating basically an outline using these green dots and I'm just doing that to give me kind of a guide for how I want these shapes to flow on the body based off of the various images and angles that I um, put up above here. Those images and angles, I, I needed several different angles for this body piece because it's quite a complicated piece um, and I had to make sure that you know, it's reaching all of the places that it is supposed to reach. So once we finish up the side here, basically what we're gonna do is start getting the decals uh, for this car. And some of the decals you can find online. So if you just search for X, Y, and Z, and then vector decal or X, Y, and Z vector logo, or X, you know, Michelin uh, SVG file, you will find a lot of these decals online and then you only have to manipulate them little by little um, in order to make them, you know, fit for your design. Well, you're rarely going to find all of the decals that you need. Um, and so in those instances, you either have to, re well, you're probably gonna have to recreate the decals. And that's actually what you're gonna end up seeing me do here with the M6 GT3 decal. And as you can see, you know, even the vector version that I did find, it was really messy. So I went in, recreated this from scratch, um, and it ended up coming out really clean. And guys, this is really important because you have to remember, this is going on the rear wing of the car. It's also going on the front fenders. And if there's weird, you know, if it's not smooth, if there's weird little burrs in your design, all of that's gonna show up when you blow this thing up to life size. So you have to be really deliberate with how you are creating these designs. And that's just kind of large print format graphic design 101. So M6 GT3 is done. Next, what we're gonna do is go on ahead and uh, we've pretty much got our decal pack completed. Um, we're gonna go on ahead and start putting these on the car. 
And starting with the side skirt here, because that's actually carbon fiber on the real life M6 GT3 car. Um, so we're gonna go on ahead and add in these decals and recolor them as we do. Pretty straightforward. Okay, and again, this is a design file. So that M, M power decal on the rear spoiler there, it's not gonna be smushed like that when you print it, but you have to render it that way for the design so that the client knows again what they're signing off on. Um, I'm going in and I'm reshaping these front and rear decals, also the hood decals, just to give them a visual representation of what it's going to look like when it's actually on the car. After we get the design file created, we have to get the print file created. And I spoke with the installer. After speaking with the installer, we agreed that the side panels are going to be printed side panels on white vinyl and then all of the decals aside from the side panels are going to actually be overlaid decals so those are the side panels there and then you're going to see me create a pink outline on all of the rest of these decals and that pink outline is basically the cut line it's called a cut contour that basically is going to be a signal for the plotter for where it's going to actually make the cuts on the vinyl it's a little bit tricky because you have to create bleed so that you don't have any accidental white edges if the materials shift during the production process, but that's basically what you see me doing here. And after I get all of these created, our print file is pretty much ready to go. All of our graphic design is done. Then we're gonna upload them into Gran Turismo so that we can use them in the game. So we go into Gran Turismo, we get them all uploaded. Um, all of these files, because I created them from scratch, were under 15 kilobytes. So they didn't really need much rework going in, getting them uploaded, creating this wrap in the Gran Turismo 7 livery editor. Um, it was pretty straightforward once we had the actual decals created, but you're going to see that some of the decals, especially that side one, um, they didn't upload the way that I thought they were going to. Some of the cutouts that I put in them, and cutouts can also be referred to as masks or compound paths and graphic design. Some of those cutouts didn't work the way that I thought that they would when I uploaded the decals. And the Gran Turismo 7 livery editor, especially when it comes to uploading decals, is kind of fickle. And so you have to work around that. I tried a couple different things to get it to work on the upload process, but I couldn't in most cases. So I ended up basically, this is what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to get that cutout to actually show up when I upload this into the game. But inevitably, I end up uploading it just as it is with the layered red, blue, and dark blue, as you can see. And then I just add a white overlay on top to make it appear like it's cut out. So pretty straightforward from a design perspective. We get everything positioned, we get everything mirrored onto the other sides. Um, this car has a carbon fiber roof, so we make sure that we add that back in. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, we are just wrapping things up now, getting the finishing touches put on this wrap. But you can download this in the Gran Turismo if you just search for GT Jesse. Um, you can also search for M6 or I think GT3 as well. You're going to see the tags here. But, uh, you know, pretty straightforward stuff. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy driving the car in the game and uh, found this video helpful. Let's uh, have a great 2025, guys. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Up, Goodbye. Up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up.